Today on Burke Makes Stuff, I'm going to show you the easiest, most accurate way that I've found to hang anything on your wall. Now I say anything because you can use these principles for just about anything. From a picture frame to a small shelf to a small cabinet, everything I'm about to share with you is completely transferable and we're going to do it right now. So I have a friend that bought a house a few years ago, and we sat down and randomly in conversation the other day, it came up that she actually paid a contractor $35 a picture, or a painting, I guess it was, to hang paintings in her house. Just take my money! And I was floored by this because it is such a simple process that that's ridiculous. So I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to show you guys this. I use this green cabinet as storage in my shop, and as you can see right now, it's sitting on top of my table saw that's acting far more like a table right now than a saw. I'm gonna use this green cabinet and mount it on my wall, and I'm gonna use that to show you guys how to mount just about anything. There's many different types of hardware that you'll find on the back of anything you want to hang, and a lot of them look different, but they all function the same way. Either they have a two-point hanging system, like the back of this green cabinet, or a one-point, like the back of this picture. The good part about the method I'm about to show you is that it works for either of them. If we look once again at the back of the green cabinet, this type of hanging hardware is called a keyhole hanger. And that's because it resembles greatly the keyholes from antique doors. Of course, except the hole would be upside down. The way these work is that the head of the anchor hardware that you already put into your wall gets inserted into the large opening of the keyhole. Then when you slide the piece down over the anchor hardware, that goes into the smaller section of the keyhole and anchors it in place and holds it firmly. These are wonderful to use with slightly heavier pieces when you hang them, because you know that as long as your anchor points in the wall are solid, that this piece is gonna be held tightly and securely. When I have a piece that has two anchor points on the back, what I prefer is grabbing some tape and stringing it across between the two pieces of hardware. Here I'm using blue painter's tape, but of course you could use masking tape or whatever you have laying around. Then I grab a Sharpie marker and mark where the center of the holes in the hardware are on the tape. Next, grab a tape measure and measure from the top of the piece to the top of the tape. This will show you how much vertical clearance the piece that you're hanging needs. I always write the measurement on the piece of tape so I don't forget what the clearance is. I've done that too many times. Then take your tape and place it on the wall using those two marks you just made to center it where you want it. Check to make sure the tape is perfectly level at this point because that will dictate if your final piece is level when it's hung. Also use your tape measure to check and make sure that you have the vertical clearance you found out you needed. At this point, I like to transfer the vertical lines from the marks I made and use that and the horizontal line of the tape itself to show me exactly where my anchoring hardware needs to go. So now that we scouted out the location for where we want to hang our piece and we checked to make sure the height has clearance and to make sure the two points we marked are completely level, the next thing we really need to talk about is the hardware side in terms of the wall itself. What are we actually putting into the wall to hang our piece on? The first thing we're going to do is pull out a stud finder. Now there's plenty of different types and different varieties and different price points for these, but they all work basically the same way. And that is when you put them on the wall and you move them around the area you're looking at, it'll show you specifically where the center of a stud is or if the wall behind it is hollow. Now it just so happens that the cabinet that I want to hang and the location I want it to be hung requires us to use two different fasteners. Now the first one because we have a stud I'm simply going to use a three inch wood screw. Now this will go directly in and offer plenty of power when it comes to holding the piece down because it's directly into a wooden stud. On the other end where there is no stud I'm going to bust out these which you guys have actually seen me use before in my entryway coat hanger video and if you haven't checked that one out I'll link it somewhere up here but these are really simple they're called toggle bolts and I absolutely love them and I love to go overboard with these uh, if I need to hang a 50 pound thing I'm gonna use a four or five hundred pound toggle bolt so if you are mounting into drywall without any stud behind it you really do want to go watch that video it goes into far more detail than I'm going into here because I'm not going into any detail here but using toggle Toggle bolts is definitely the way to go if you have no stud to mount into, so make sure to go check it out. Now that you have both anchor points set in the wall, it's literally as easy as putting your piece on those anchor points, and you're done. Just make sure it's level one more time to make sure you didn't make any mistakes, and you're golden. Hey, hold on. Don't go anywhere yet. Listen, I need some help. 
I'm trying to figure out what direction to take this channel in. In under six months, we have just about 2,000 subscribers already. I'm absolutely floored by this, but this is not just my channel, it is our channel. So I want to know what you want to see. Leave me a comment below with some ideas, and we'll get to them in future videos. I'm still going through the first list of stuff you guys gave me, which is outstanding and amazing. I'm trying to figure out length of videos and if you guys like it at the short five minute mark or if you guys want the 10 and 15 minute stuff I've been doing please let me know your opinion totally matters and while you're at it check out a video like that or maybe one like this I'll see you guys next time thank you so much without you guys I would not be here see you next time